All right, y'all. This video is going to be quick, but it's very important because it's about saving. If you don't save your files and your sessions properly, you're going to hate yourself. So, you're going to hit that strawberry in the corner and then hit the save button. It's going to bring you to this window. You're going to have a bunch of different options. Your FLM, that's an FL mobile file. You can just save it that way if you want to transfer that into um, the actual DAW or if you want to switch it to another device. You have the MIDI file. That's, that's going to let you export anything that you programmed in the system, but it has no sound. MIDI has no sound. Don't forget that. The wave, that's going to be your safest bet. If you're not sure, a WAV file is industry standard. It plays on everything. FLAC audio, that is a lossless codec. Now, what lossless means is that it's compressed, but even, even the higher frequencies and lower frequencies that the human ear can't perceive are still there. So that's why it's lossless, because everything is there. MP3 and AAC are called lossy codecs. Both of them, uh, you know, they compress the audio, but they cut off anything, any data or frequencies that the human ear can't perceive. They just cut them off because they see it as being extra unnecessary data. All right. Now that we've gone through that, let's assume that you just want to export a standard wave file. So you're going to click on wave and then hit save. Once it brings you to this screen, you'll see some different options. Normalize is basically going to make everything louder. Um, trim initial silence is self-explanatory. Split mixer tracks, that's what you're going to do if, if you want to export separate stems so that it can be mixed like in a separate DAW. High quality is the highest quality it can possibly give you. And render till last bar, I mean, I feel like it always renders to your last bar, so I'm not sure why that's an option, but that's what those are. Now, hit the go button. All right, so now your song is saved and I'm sure you'd love to know where it went. So go to your files app on your phone. Then you need to go to FL Studio Mobile. Once you're there, there's a folder inside of there that's called My Tracks. Open that up and you'll find the file that you just created. So one last thing I forgot to mention is if you're in the middle of creating, you can hit that strawberry in the corner and just slide the save button and you're good. If this helped you out in any way, just hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next one.